Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington from Learn Your Land and I'm hanging out here in the woods in western Pennsylvania and I'm really happy right now because I'm hunting mushrooms and I'm finding all kinds of mushrooms today and this is going to be a brief video. It's not going to be too extensive. It's not going to be a tutorial like you might be used to and if that's what you're looking for, I apologize. It's not really going to be that. We're just going to talk about some things that I've been finding. Even though it's been kind of dry and really, really hot, mid-June you can still find some cool things. For example, the russulas. Russula is a genus of mushrooms usually characterized by brightly colored caps, red, purple, green. There's a Russula right here. There's a Russula right here. Uh, they've got brittle gills on the underside. They're white. They usually drop a white spore print. These mushrooms will shatter if you throw them up against a piece of wood or a tree. And they're kind of difficult to identify down to species in the field. Not all of them, but some of them are. So you really need to take them home and key them out. Maybe use a microscope as well. Not many of them are edible, some of them are toxic, so we don't really eat the rustlas, but they're neat to identify because there's so many out there right now. I did find a couple Amanita mushrooms. I found an Amanita flavoconia, I found an Amanita vaginata, but it lost its cap already. Um, but perhaps what I'm most excited about is chicken of the woods. So I did find a chicken of the woods, just a baby chicken of the woods, uh, walking on the path, and it was on a log where there was a dead chicken of the woods. So if you find a log that's got dead, or dying chicken of the woods, well that mycelium is still in that wood. And so you can come back later within a few weeks, within a few months, maybe next year, and probably find chicken of the woods. So we've got a baby down here, and we've got an older one farther up the log. And it's kind of neat because we got birth, and then we have death. And so if you sit there and contemplate chicken of the woods for a little bit, it'll tell you a lot about the meaning of life. Anyway, this one's late to porous sulfurious. Um, the sulfur shelf and it's a shelf fungus so it grows on wood and it's a polypore mushroom which means it's got thousands of tiny microscopic pores in the underside which are the ends of tubes and spores are dispersed through these tubes this is how it reproduces and latopore sulfurious has the yellow underside latopore cincinnatus has a whitish underside or typically pinkish underside they're both edible. This one's a choice edible mushroom. This is one of the easiest mushrooms to identify. And I did put out another video on chicken of the woods. And if you're interested in learning way more about chicken of the woods, including its medicinal benefits and how to cook it, just YouTube my name, Adam Harrington, chicken of the woods, and it should come up. Anyway, that's what I'm finding today in the middle of June here in Western Pennsylvania. I encourage you to get out and look for mushrooms because it's really fun and it's really rewarding, and I'll bet you'll find something cool. Perhaps you'll even find Chicken of the Woods. Anyway, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.